But here's the thing. This will lead to some issues. Localized flooding will be coming in as we wake up in the morning as those creeks and streams rise. And the problem right now is focused in our western counties. You can see this is pretty intense here. A few lightning strikes in the southeastern Ohio and even extending down into eastern Kentucky. This is quickly moving towards West Virginia here, maybe just barely getting into the Huntington area right now. A good amount of rain. You can easily pick up a quarter to a half an inch of rain just from some of these heavier showers and thunderstorms that are out there. These are not severe, but the rain is not very welcome at this point in time. We're going to see this activity make its way closer to the Gallup Police area around 1230, then even up towards Pomeroy, 1245, and then we'll start to look towards Ripley and Parkersburg after 1 in the morning. Second area, as we head down into eastern Kentucky, parts of Lawrence County, Kentucky, near US 23, Louisa, with a good amount of rain right now. This will be pushing into Wayne County, West Virginia, and eventually out of the coal fields and into us here in Charleston. It looks like after one in the morning as we head closer to one and two in the morning, that's when we're going to be getting a lot more of the activity here in our direction. All this from low pressure starting to spin its way out of Kentucky and will quickly move in for the day on Sunday. Through early morning, the potential is still there for heavy rain in our eastern counties as well. This is not where we're seeing it right now, but factor in the melting snow and the additional water that will be running off into the creeks and streams. That's why we have elevated concerns here into the eastern mountains. And the potential is even there in far southeastern parts of Kanawha County and down into the coal fields for some excessive rainfall. Localized flooding of the creeks and streams, some road closures are possible into the early morning. So here's our feature cast. Heavy, heavy showers and a few thunderstorms make their way eastward by 2 in the morning. Again, 1 to 2 here in Charleston. Heavy still in the coal fields. And we're going to be dealing with these issues for most of the nighttime hours. As the sun rises, it's still going to be soggy. And we have this band of showers and a few thunderstorms that could develop here as far south as Charleston and even up into southeastern Ohio. The Ohio River, for one, that's the place where we could see some creeks and streams rise into the early morning. Temperatures will be falling, though, outside. It's going to be much cooler out there as well, and we're still going to be seeing the high water issues for most of the day. By the afternoon, a couple of snow showers try to mix in down in our southern and eastern counties. Beckley, for one, could get a coating of snow with the showers beginning Sunday night and into Monday. The higher elevations, though, as you head into Nicholas and Webster counties, that's where there would be any accumulation. Nothing sticking here in Charleston. Pretty much all plain rain for your Sunday. Perhaps a few snow showers mix in later Sunday and into Monday, but the big theme will be much cooler temperatures for the next work week. Still going to see those snow showers continue though here, so it is a more winter-like pattern, what we expect for this time of the year outside. No more 60s, that is for sure. Rainfall totals, yes, we could easily pick up another inch of rain with the heaviest thunderstorms, three quarters to an inch here in Charleston, and more in the eastern mountains. This is a concern here for some flooding, especially when you get some of that ice melting and some of that snow melting on the mountaintops. That could really create some concerns in that area. Well, here's some good news. If you like warmer conditions, or at least a little bit warmer this time of the year, our outlook of temperature for February later in the work week is projecting that we could have some above normal temperatures here. This is a low end chance. It doesn't mean that we're going to be having a heat wave. It indicates that maybe we could have a couple days in the 50s, which would be very welcomed and comfortable this time of the year, even after some of the cooler weather that we'll have to start the week. So we have to get through a couple rounds of rain and snow showers. Another one could come in Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Maybe some snowfall there. Not expecting anything major. We'll be back up in the 40s by the afternoon, and then we start the month of February partly sunny skies and not all that bad for this time of the year, maybe 51 there on Friday.